Alright guys, what's going on? Um, I've been meaning to get to this video for a while now and just haven't done it. But, uh, hell with it, today's as good as any day. Um, you guys sent in a bunch of good questions and some that wasn't so great. Um, I printed out a few of them. I'm going to kind of bounce around. I'm not going to uh, necessarily go in any particular order. Um, just kind of bounce around. We'll get them all eventually. Um, if I go through part of yours and then stop, it's not that I'm not doing that one necessarily. I'll probably get back to it, so don't spaz out on me. Um, but let's see. Stefan Edick. His question, um, maybe about the Vatican. What is a point in religion country? <laughs> um, wow. The Vatican, huh? Boy, you really do want to stir some shit up, don't you? <laughs> um What's the point in a religion country? That way when shit breaks down, they can claim that they're not involved in anything, I guess. They can try to remain independent. But you've got the Vatican, and then you've got, I think it's called a Holy Seas. Either Holy Seas, Religion Seas, something like that. It's another part yeah. of the Vatican. Um, well, it's not really part of the Vatican. The Vatican is part of the Holy Seas. Um, I think it's. What's the problem? It's not Ireland. Um, I think it's in Rome. Is where the the Vatican is. The government gave him the, the little city, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the Holy Sees owns properties in other places that's not really the Vatican. Um, so it's a place that they can have their land and not be under government control. That way they can do what they want, when they want. You know, they can molest little boys with nobody to interfere and tell them that they can't do that. Oh, did I say that out loud? Damn it. Um, I think it's bullshit. Just because, I mean, what gives a church a right to do whatever the hell it wants to do, when it wants to do it, and how it wants to do it, without any repercussions from anybody? That's bullshit. Um, I don't care how old the church is. You know, but that's bullshit. So you're saying if I keep the tattoo shop for a thousand years, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do and nobody can tell me anything about it? Yeah, that's bullshit. Um, they should have to speak to somebody. Because um, as much as they want to claim there's a separation between religion and state, that's bullshit. When half of the, the Senate or the Congress or whatever is brainwashed into religion, religion doesn't control the state. So that's a whole bullshit subject. I think it's just a way for them to, when the shit breaks down in the end, they can sit back and say, I told you so. Um, and then they don't, they can say, you know, well, this government and this government did this, and, you know, we stayed out of it, or, you know, we're separate, and that's, that's bullshit. Like I said, it's just a way for them to molest little boys without anybody being able to do anything to them. Um, let's see. Facebook. This one's from Wolf101. Facebook. Apparently rumored to be funded by the CIA. Millions of vol people voluntarily put their own information on the internet and let everyone else know who they are friends with and by posting updates themselves. Anyone watching can see what they're doing and when they're doing it. Alright. Uh, Conspiracy Theory 101. <laughs> Alright. All the information that you put on Facebook, if somebody wants to find it out, they're going to find it out without Facebook. Um, 
I mean, I can actually find out more f about you than anything that you put on Facebook if I wanted to. And I don't need Facebook to do it. And if they're watching you for some reason, you know, you're doing something illegal or whatever, they don't need Facebook to follow you around. They're going to have wiretaps and people watching you so they can find out what the fuck you're doing regardless, without Facebook. Um, is it funded by the CIA? Well, fuck, the CIA funds a ton of shit, so... Who knows? Yeah, who knows? I mean, they've got all their little black book accounts. It's got millions and billions of dollars in it from all their heroin dealings and opium dealings or whatever the hell they're into. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me, but I think if the CIA was trying to watch you, they have better ways of doing it than Facebook. Um... I mean, really. Yeah, it might be easy for a rapist to find out that you're going to the bar and what bar you're going to so they can come rape you, but that's just a lazy rapist. Um, again, if he's that intent on fucking you up, he's going to find you with Facebook or not. Yeah, you might make the dumb one's job a little easier, but the smart ones are going to get you anyway. So... Whether or not it, it is run by the CIA or funded by the CIA, you know, who knows? Like I said, the CIA has got their hands in all kinds of shit, putting together governments and everything else, so why couldn't they do Facebook? Um, I mean, I don't personally believe it, but it wouldn't surprise me. Um, but. I think there's better ways and easier ways for them to find out who you are, what you are, what you've got. But like I said, I can find out more information. I mean, I get your social security numbers and all that other shit without using Facebook. So, I mean, if I want to get you, I'm going to get you. I think there's easier and better ways than Facebook for the CIA to fuck with you. All right, um, I got to go do something and I'll be right back.